sorry. Just doing a 360 dunk because I'm Michael Jordan. I don't know if you saw my jersey. See, look. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. So, uh, you know, it's a tale as old as time. Become the greatest basketball player in the world. You know, retire, come back, not win as many games as you did back in the early 90s. And, you know, still be amazing. Buy a basketball team. Teach math videos. <laughs> You've heard that story. You don't need me to tell it to you again. Oh, shucks. Okay. So, we're still learning piecewise la 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 linear functions. That's what's up. Okay, so, as me, Mr. you can just call me Mr. Jordan, or Mr. 23, Mr. Michael Jordan, Mr. Michael Tyler Jordan, Michael Tyler Tyler Jordan, Mr. Tyler, just Tyler Tyler Tyler, right? I, who does, you know, what are names, really? I've got a jersey, that's all I need. Michael Jordan. Okay, so, um, let's stop slamming some basketballs, kids. Let's learn some math. Piecewise linear functions. All right, right here, we have got a picture, a graph of something. This is our time. Look, a little clock. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? And can you see that? No, you can't even see that. This is worth it. This is worth it. You ready? See? Told you it was worth it. Look at that clock. Might as well put your watch on that mug. Am I right? Am I right? I'm wrong. Okay. And this is elevation. Elevation. That's how much you go up or down. Not side to side, not diagonal, but up or down. Okay. So we got our elevation. We got our time. And this is our graph. What we're going to do is we're going to make up a story that fits this graph, this piecewise linear function. In review, piecewise linear function. A linear function is a straight line on a graph. Piecewise means pieces of lines on our graph. Is that what they really meant with that? I don't care. I'm wearing a strap v-neck under a Bulls jersey pretending to be Michael Jordan and teaching math. Who cares? I do not. I do not care. I care. I care about you, and I care about learning. Okay, so here we go. So let's make a story. In a, let's look at our graph. This is zero, and that's our elevation. That means you're at ground level. Like, that's ground level. We're going to go below ground level and above ground level. What's probably going to play a part in this, in this story? I'll give you a hint. You don't dive through rocks and ground and dirt very often, do you? probably going to involve water in this story. Does it have to? No. Will it? Yes, it will. Okay? So, we can pick the own avenue we want for this story to take place. You know, if we wanted to, we could say, oh, you know, the guy's climbing up a water slide and he jumps underwater. But you know what? I like to think our little guy is a little more adventurous than this. I think our guy has a little more heart. He's got a little more than heart. He's got two hearts. That's right. He was born with two hearts. One here, one here. One here. That's three. There's your math lesson for the day. Write that down. Okay, so our three-hearted man, I like to call him Tryhard. He's a superhero, by the way. Um, he's standing here. He's on ground level. Time is zero. This is in seconds. This is in feet. Okay? Now, we've got this range. It's from zero seconds to nine seconds. So this whole story is going to take place over the course of nine seconds. The highest he'll get is five feet. The lowest he'll get is negative three feet. He's going to end up at ground level again. So I say this cat's standing here, right here. He's not standing on a water slide. Nay, he's not sitting there at Wild River Country, hanging out, waiting on the kid with the tube, the stinkiness, who probably, you know, put on too much sunscreen. He's got all the goose on his face and, and like, on his arms. And his mom's like, you need to put on my sunscreen. I just put the little tube like he's Tim Tebow or something. He ain't Tim Tebow. He's a kid on a water slide with a tube. Okay? So, over the course from zero seconds to two seconds, in this time period right here, he is going to go up how high? Five feet. So in the course of two seconds, our boy, Tryhart, goes up five feet. You know what? He ain't got a water slide. He's climbing up rocks. That's right. Our boy, he's on the side of a mountain. He's like, I can climb this water slide. Or, is that a girl? She fine? Yeah, she fine. What's up, girl? Check this. Five, two seconds, he's five feet high. Up in the ground. Up in the up in the ground. Well, I guess it is the ground if you're standing on it. Up in the air. Okay, so he climbs on top of the mountain. Two seconds to go five feet. He's here. That's our first linear function right there. The first piece of the puzzle. Now, from here to here, for this two seconds right here, how high is he going up or down? Zero. He's just sitting there. Just hanging out. He could be running straight across. It doesn't matter. We don't know, but he's probably not. He's probably just kicking. He climbed up the top of the roof. He might, you know, stand there and look. He sees a little cliff. He could run to that. It doesn't matter. As long as two seconds pass and he does not go up or down, 
it fits our graph. Okay? Now, put this little blue line here. See what I did there? Makes it up. You didn't see that coming, did you? That's an M. Night Shyamalan twist ending. Does that, anybody still like that guy? I think they should. He, well, that seems kind of weird. Okay. Um, After Earth. All right. So, I'm sorry, I got a little off topic there. Let's bring it back. Okay? So he's up there. Either he stood there and looked out the edge of the cliff at the whole five feet he walked up, climbed up really fast in two seconds, or maybe he ran straight across like there's a little ledge and he climbed up top and ran straight across. It doesn't matter as long as he doesn't go up or down over this two seconds right here. Now, from there, this is the money maker. He goes down to here. So from the course of four seconds to six seconds, he goes from five feet in the air to three foot underwater. Okay, so here, let's paint the scenario again. Here to here, climbs up the rock. Gets up, he goes, yo, what's up, girl? You come here often? Oh, me too. Let's go on a date sometime. Really? All right, that sounds good. Talk to you later. Check this. Whew, that was that longer two sides? About two seconds, right? Walks up, climbs up. Hey, girl, what's up? Check it. And then he jumps. Whew. Goes underwater, okay? This is not the path of his dive. He could have just done that little stick move where you go and jump down, he could have done that, okay? As long as he was five feet when he started and ended up three feet underwater in the course of two seconds. He goes underwater. That's him floating underwater. Probably sitting there floating. He's got contacts in, so he can't open his eyes. He's just like, you know, doing that thing where you just kind of like float around. Always, everybody always wipes that snot up their nose because, you know, you breathe under it and it's snot. You're just like, I don't want to come out of the water. That girl, she was sitting there. I already made a move. I'm like sitting there wiping all the snot off. Sits there. How long is he sitting underwater? Our time goes from six seconds to right here, which is eight seconds. So for two seconds, he's just sitting there. Wiping that snot off, you know, pushing his eyes, whatever he's doing. Adjusting because he probably jumped the water everywhere. It makes the swimsuit go crazy. So he's sitting there. For two seconds, and then what does he do? Floats back up to the top of the water. <sighs> Yo, what's up, girl? There you are again. Fancy seeing you here. Date, sure. Movies, local line. Today's sponsored by Local Line. It's a restaurant I like. There's only one of them, so hope they're watching. Okay, so that's the story. And that's what happened. Climbed up the rock, first group, went from zero, ground level, five feet up in two seconds. Peace. Sits there. For two seconds, not going up or down, he could go across, didn't matter. Jumps, goes under, took two seconds from to go to the five feet, to under three, uh, three feet underwater, floats for three feet underwater, and then floats up to the top over the course of that last one second. It's a good nine seconds. That's where our boy fell in love. That is true love. This is a story of true love. Romeo and Juliet. This is Romeo and Juliet. It's cross curriculum right there, everybody. You can't buy that kind of stuff. That's good stuff. Well, you can. It's in a book. It's called Romeo and Juliet. It's called a book. Everybody has a book. It's my best President Obama impression. Not very good at it. Okay, whatever. Michael Jordan, out! See? I just dunked it right there. Dunked it. Let me try it again. Did you get that? It was more like a ballerina thing. Okay, cut it off. What up? Thank you for watching the video. I for real, for real appreciate that. You know I do. You know I do, girl. Um, or do whatever. Okay, so if you could, real quick, I'm gonna run through. Check me out on Facebook. If you want, just type in Tyler Tarver. It'll pop up. Tyler Tarver is okay. Or you can just go Facebook.com/slash Tyler's okay. Or you can just do FB.com/slash Tyler's okay. Yeah, Facebook jumped on that. Got the FB.com. Good job, Facebook. Check me out on Twitter. Tyler Tarver. Twitter.com slash Tyler Tarver, T Y L E R T A R V E R, blah. Check out Instagram, just search Tyler Tarver. Once again, blah, I got to have Tyler Tarver and everything except for Facebook. It's Tyler's okay. Did my best. Sorry, Mom. Okay, if you want, um, you can check out my website, it's tylertarver.com. Or if you're on YouTube, you just click this, it'll take you to my regular YouTube page where I post videos that are less math and more not math. I try to be funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then you go to TarverAcademy.com. It's got a lot of math videos. Try to organize them for you. Got tons of math videos. Little help videos. Some that are just off there. Some where I'm up here. <laughs> Look at me, everybody. All right. And then you can also click that if you're on YouTube. And it'll take you to my math channel, which is YouTube.com slash Sir Tyler Tarver. So if you're interested in math videos, got a ton of math videos on there. And I'm putting more on there all the time. So in conclusion, you just go ahead and go to the Facebook page. You know, be a, you know, click like or whatever. 
check out the Twitter, follow, and then you go to Instagram, you're like, ah, oh, and then you're going to go over here, and you're going to subscribe to this YouTube channel, which is just search Tyler Tarver, it's the only ones that don't have math videos, and if you search Tyler Tarver, it pops up this one, so, I'm just going to wait, I'll just wait right here, just wait right here for you to go do all those things, just click it, and it'll probably pop it in the window, just, just go ahead and search, get your phone out, whatever, you just, just wait. I really am going to wait until you go do all of the things that I asked you to do. That's all I'm asking. Just go do all the stuff that I asked. <laughs>